Now, my next guest has had a career which spans for 26 years as producer, covering some very wide-ranging topics from war to Tony Blackburn, even breasts. Now, her next film is called Jig, and it lifts the lid on a very secretive world of Irish dancing. When he started out, you know, he was like everybody else, hop two, three. But he won the first 17 events he entered. And he found out he was pretty good at this. I don't think it's any different to anything else. It's just we wear wigs and funny dresses. <laughs> It was like a Shirley Temple convention, wasn't it? So Vaughan, welcome and thank you for agreeing to interview us at Skinny Wrist Productions. Um, let's kick things off. What's Jig all about? Uh, Jig is the story of the Irish Dancing World Championships which were held in Glasgow last year. <coughs> and thousands of dancers from all around the world descended on Scotland uh, to compete for the coveted uh, world title. And the reason I wanted to make it wasn't because I was interested in dancing. <laughs> um, what I liked about it was that nobody had ever got in to make a film about it before. And you think, this is a weird world, because they wear big wigs. It is and, a weird world. Yeah, really is. sort of tiaras it's and fetas. Yeah. Oh, these people are insane. You get drawn into it. You buy the dress, and you get the wig, and <laughs> you go to Ireland. He'd spend seven hours in the living room with the carpets rolled up. It was living and breathing dance for him. She had been dancing on a broken foot. My mom was like, you, you can't dance. And I was like, I can. I can. Watch me. If I nail every beat, then it's just going to be one of the best sets anyone's ever done. If you do it wrong, you have to get it right. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I need to win it soon if I'm going to win it. Don't I? Yeah, <laughs> 14 years we've waited. And what's always interesting is you have a competition and everybody's kind of busting a gut to win. So, you know, there's a sort of innate drama, conflict and tension involved in it. But what's great about this is that it's a global phenomenon. Mm. So I didn't, the reason it's a feature film is that I wanted to, to reflect that. And the only way you could do that is you get a big budget so you can go all around the world, which we did. And then you film the dancers from all these different countries beforehand, and then you follow them to the world. So that's what the story is. Now, as a very proud father of a beautiful eight-month-old daughter, this film had a certain reaction with me until right at the end. Uh, and when I was kind of watching it, um, like the fake tan, uh, the big wigs, the skimpy dresses, I kind of felt a bit uneasy about it. Uh, and it's, it's certainly something that I wouldn't let my daughter do until she was 16 or outside of the boundaries of Chinkford. Um, which, let's be honest, it's pretty normal in Chinkford, that kind of thing. Have you seen what 13 year olds in Chinkford are wearing? Um, <laughs> I have, that's why it's quite yeah. normal in Chinkford. Um, uh, so, um, so, so it wasn't until the end of the film that I actually kind of saw it and actually thought, actually, you know, they're actually having a great time, they actually got something from this and they could like, take it on to, you know. Could, do you know, can I, I mean, one, yeah. I, because I said to the parents, you know, why? Yeah. And they said, look, if our kids were not doing Irish dancing, they'd be on the streets, they'd be on drugs, they'd be on drugs. This is the safest environment you can put them in. They're practicing day in, day out. They don't drink, they don't do drugs because they have to practice and they're really fit. Mm. They don't, it doesn't combine. And okay, they wear dresses and things, but it's a safer more family oriented <laughs> environment. A lot of parents are encouraging their children to do it to keep them off the streets, to keep them sort of in this safe environment. So they wear wigs, you know, in terms of lesser evils, I don't know what the answer is, but it didn't seem to me in the end so bad. They take their wigs off, they take their makeup off as soon as they finish the, being on the stage. So what do you think the Irish community is going to make of this film? Oh, I think they'll love it. <laughs> she says modestly, sorry. <laughs> um, They'll love it because it's a fair and honest film. I, I don't think the film does any cheap gags at all. I really think it is honest. We don't make a fuss about you know, things stupidly. We don't sensationalise. Uh, and I think they'll be pleased about it. And I think also what it really shows is it does show the hard work. And there's a two-minute sequence in it where we're just on one of the best dances in the world's feet. Now, that sounds boring. It's utterly <laughs> riveting because you see what's really involved in the dancing. But it's about people, and I think anyone who likes good documentaries will enjoy this film. That's what, that's what I hope. <laughs> well, so thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And uh, have you got a final word that you just want to finish on? One word, your favourite word. There's a, there's a lovely kid in the home called Brogan who comes from Derry. She's got, I can't really do accents, but she says, My mammy says if you've got a talent, show it. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Sue, thank you very much. Cheers.